Eric Keller here, Enthusiast Auto Group. Welcome to EAG's Paint Correction and Photo Studio. And today we have a really cool group of EAG first looks. A lot of cool cars that have not yet hit the website. Uh, this is our opportunity to reward those that have subscribed to EAG's YouTube channel. And if you've not yet done so, you might want to because this is your opportunity to see some cars before they hit the major marketing mediums. And well, uh, we've got some really special cars, some very, very unique one-offs even that, well, uh, have made the previous enthusiasts quite happy, so much so they came back again for a second helping, or fourth or fifth helping, seventh helping maybe in one case, of some more EAG, uh, well, uh, fully rejuvenated cars. And, uh, you know, we buy all of our cars back from our clients. That's one of the pillars of our business model, has been since the inception. And it's not just uh, let's buy the car back because you're ready for change. Let's um, you know demonstrate a great ownership experience. What we can do in the future-proofing efforts to provide you with an opportunity to have basically a new analog car for a second time and support you throughout your ownership. But when you're ready for change, uh, you know call us up and let's have that conversation and and see what the other uh, cars on that uh, BMW bucket list of desirable cars are and how EAG can help achieve that. Whether we have it in stock or not, we certainly have a great great. Uh, network of enthusiast owners of the guys that basically you want to buy a car after. I mean, the guys that, uh, you know, you drive past their yard and, and uh, home and, and their, their grass never seems to change in the length. These are the guys that you want to make sure you're uh, following relative to their car ownership profile because these are the guys that really take care of their equipment and, and what we seek out in, in buying our cars. And if you've got a car that, uh, you know, this is uh, resonating with you and you're looking to, to pass on that torch, certainly reach out as everybody else has, uh, giving us that opportunity to keep these cars and great homes but uh, today we're going to talk about a Phoenix Yellow M Coupe it's one of just 21 we're going to talk about a M2 a, a final year non-competition uh, standard M2 that has not only the Dynan Stage 2 package but a lot of BMW genuine GTS accoutrement that uh, really is a one of one uh, it's the only one that we've seen like this or done like this and uh, several other E39 M5s that are repeat visitors, some uh, E28 M5 repeat visitor action, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. So um, again, if you've not subscribed, please do. Stay tuned for a lot more cool videos uh, coming up. We've got some inventory that's coming in that, inventory, it's not really the right word, is it? Um, some additions to the uh, EAG revolving collection or uh, some return visitors uh, that uh, are populating again. So uh, let's take a lap through the studio and, and certainly looking forward to finding uh, these cars great loving homes for a second, third, fifth time. And uh, uh, if, if you're interested, certainly drop us a line, send me an email, uh, drop us a call. We'll be happy to, to connect you with uh, the data file and make sure you can make an educated remote de remote buying decision just as everybody else has uh, in our 20 year history. So as we motor through the studio, I think we should probably start with the most colorful car in the group, and that is this 2001 Phoenix Yellow Z3 M Coupe. It is an S54, as all Z3s with the Phoenix Yellow exterior are, and it is a repeat visitor that EAG acquired from the second owner about uh, two, two and a half years ago, and, and he was just a, a very short-term custodian having purchased from the original owner with a data file that goes back all the way to new. We sold it to a really great enthusiast, uh, Marco, uh, down in Florida, who we've become quite good friends with over the years. And uh, he wrote a really great chapter with this car, made uh, the car his own with just a, well, a couple really small, subtle changes, including the h &R Sport Springs that uh, you see the, the stance now. Uh, well, improved. Uh, this car is an 83,000 mile example and, you know, condition-wise, <laughs> you would never know. Uh, it is in stellar, stellar, all original condition. The paint is all original down to the front bumper that, well, we simply decided to keep original just as a testament to the solidarity of its um, uh, preservation. And while it does have some boo-boos here and there that it should and certainly has earned, uh, most notably, uh, I think this one right uh, there. Um, you know, we've aged uh, as, as, well, <laughs> car guys too and learned to embrace the, the patina. And I think that they're only original once and uh, as, as this condition uh, assessment will uh, test, um, as that bug wing will go away, <sighs> 
uh, <laughs> it's, it's in really, really great shape. And I would much rather have an original condition car that wears its integrity on its sleeve than one that's, that's been restored and, and overly done or, or not done well. I mean, even you know, the best of restored cars um, simply don't have that um, feel and, and uh, just aura to them as a, a survivor car like this. And the interior uh, follows the same suit. It is, again, all original. And I mean, I think I'll let the video speak uh, to the condition. Uh, for 80, almost 4,000 miles, um, they don't come much nicer or cleaner than this. And uh, again, a uh, testament to the, the original and, and second and, and, of course, third EAG owner uh, in writing some great chapters uh, for this car's history. Every VIN sticker that belongs uh, where they, uh, of course, should is in place. And the original springs, as well as a very thick binder that I believe is uh, in the office, uh, uh, is included uh, all the way back to new. Uh, believe it or not, we also have an original window sticker for this car. And, uh, you know, uh, that's just um, uh, something that most cars at this point in life uh, simply don't uh, have and oh, the S54 is certainly a joy to drive in this small little E36 base package uh, just well there's a reason that uh, Evan and I have had uh, well now nine of these very special uh, E36 meets E46 meets E30 M3 rear suspension geometry uh, cars in the EAG collection. So uh, that car is going on the website quite soon. Call uh, us. We'll be happy to go over the pricing. You'll be quite surprised with uh, uh, that. It, it's always sold quite quick and, and it's not going to be uh, uh, very expensive relative to what it is, especially for how special it is. Speaking of special, uh, we have a 2018 M2 that was acquired from the original owner. That's the full Dynan S2 package as uh, arrived to EAG. And we've sold this to a really great enthusiast that has developed a really awesome relationship with our, our team uh, over the last, well, I think decade at this point. Shout out to Mr. Chuck. You've been a, a really a good friend and just great supporter of, of everything EAG and, and our uh, uh, mission to, to keep great cars and great homes and have written some really fantastic chapters uh, of, well, uh, everything that you've touched. And, uh, well, uh, if you saw the video of the Dynan, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the E39 M5 Beast, the, the Discovery Automotive M5, well, uh, that is uh, the next chapter Mr. Chuck is going to write with that beautiful car. And uh, well, there's only so many spots in the garage and this car is certainly not one that's been outside ever. So might as well continue that trend and, and keep it in the next loving enthusiast home. Uh, EAG has installed the uh, M Performance bits as well as these genuine GTS wheels. The, uh, they are a 19 and uh, well, 20 inch fitment. And we did some math. Uh, that is a 3% front and rear increase in total rolling diameter. That actually makes the speedometer, which in all BMWs, if you know, especially with the Z3M uh, platform, uh, they are not exactly accurate. And uh, well, uh, running this wheel entire setup actually makes it more accurate. So then you would say, well, then it's probably going to add more mileage on the odometer if it's being more accurate and, and uh, not reading, uh, uh, well, uh, as high as it normally would. And well, uh, you're actually correct. Uh, it, it runs on the transmission as opposed to the speedometer relative to the mileage recording uh, on the M2 platform. So uh, did a little uh, Sherlock Holmesing and, and uh, made sure that any questions that would come up were, were accurately answered. And uh, I mean, wow, uh, that is, I mean, it, it, while it's not exactly M4 GTS, it certainly would, uh, a quick glance, uh, fool most that are looking at it for the first time. And of course, this is a factory color offered in said GTS. Uh, if you do have it a GTS, we do have a couple clients that are looking for them. So uh, reach out if you're interested in selling yours. This is a 2003 late production CF93609. So 990 was the last VIN, uh, starting 93990. So this is 93609. 
Uh, it was acquired by EAG uh, when it had just 10,000 miles and sent down to Texas. And uh, well, this car has had a great history since the gentleman that purchased the car knew he was going to drive it, knew he was going to enjoy it, and in doing so added clear bra to the whole front clip, which we certainly embraced and had that conversation prior to his application. And, and uh, that um, advisement uh, or uh, however, whatever you want to call that role, um, we want to make sure that each of our en uh, enthusiast owners do the best job they can writing their chapter, and we certainly will help support them along the way. So the front end is pretty much the same as it was when it left EAG 25,000 miles ago. Uh, we did add some dine-in bits, uh, the intake exhaust software, I believe the tower brace was added as well, the front fixed cup holder, which, come on, these uh, pop-out cup holders, um, well, they're, they're not exactly that, uh, they, they don't serve anything uh, purpose-wise. Um, we've added uh, some rubber floor mats, or at least, excuse me, the uh, most recent enthusiast has, and another uh, full set of genuine new uh, mats added by EAG uh, going part of the, the next uh, Rejuve uh, program, as well as uh, all the history going back to new. Uh, this car has, well, everything going for it and is a car you can use, drive, and enjoy. And, and today at 35,000 miles is, well, yep, 35,680. Uh, uh, just starting the, the cosmetic side and frankly, uh, not gone through the workshop yet, we wanted to bring it through and put it on the table so we can show you that original arrival condition. Uh, the silver M5 over here is a customer car. Congratulations to John on your recent EAG acquisitions as well. Thanks for the business and letting us rejuve that beloved heirloom piece that we're reconnecting you with. Uh, this is a great story because we bought it from the first owner when it had 18,000 miles. It's another 2003 M5 that today has 25,000 miles and is next in queue on deck for the photo studios. Take a lap around the turntable and it'll be its uh, third lap through. Uh, when it had 18K, we went through, did uh, all the heavy lifting, sold it to a repeat client in the Boston, Massachusetts area. He enjoyed the car for several years, wrote another great chapter in its life, and uh, 23,000 miles uh, it came back, sold it to another EAG repeat client in Texas. Again, another great ownership chapter. And uh, the sport interior on this one with the Titan trim as opposed to the wood with the extended on the silver. Um, oh, here's, I guess, a fun talking point. BMW actually has their own Astro Glide Lube, or it's called, uh, well, Sliding Agent. And uh, yeah, uh, this is actually for applying to the door sills uh, or, or seals all the way around. And uh, when you go over a, a bump or a, a undulation in the road and you hear that a kind of creak as the um, car goes over. Well, uh, more times than not, it's, it's the rubber on rubber, and BMW realized that. They came out with their own part number. If you're interested in what that part number is, it's probably on here uh, somewhere, and uh, it is, there it is, uh, that. Uh, this is not a cheap little bottle of um, lubrication, but I can tell you that it's uh, money well spent in providing a much more... Um, uh, enjoyable driving experience going over those bumps and uh, something you should put on you know maybe every uh, year or two depending on your storage conditions and where you live uh, we're at 25,352 miles and uh, well uh, this is one of the top flight m5s that the market will see it is jet black on black and uh, has most options folding rear seats included uh, the other options in, would be the park distance control, which it uh, does have, the rear shades, which it does have, and uh, M-Audio, which it does have. So it's a full option car. And having everything back to the original owner, having acquired it from that gentleman directly, well, it's great to uh, say that we have zero degrees of separation from new, and the next owner will have a very clear path uh, of, of, well, uh, ownership bliss after it goes through the cosmetics yet again. And, you know, just like the 28M5 next to it, that's another repeat visitor that we acquired when it had just 60,000 miles, now it's 62,000 miles. 
five years later, we're uh, providing it to the next enthusiast owner. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations to Mark. Thanks for your patience and allowing us to spend another month or so uh, getting this car dialed in in the way that we want it. Uh, the paint correction is the next step. And uh, well, when it's done, it's gonna look very, very similar to these E39s relative to its cosmetic appearance and, and certainly gonna wow some uh, fellow car guys once it arrives to you in South Carolina. Speaking of South Carolina, I can't stitch this stuff together better. That's where this Sportivo is going to another multi-repeat EAG client, really a friend of the mark, technically speaking, by definition, and uh, just an all-around great car guy and car family. Uh, Scott and, and his beloved wife have uh, certainly made their um, impact in the BMW car collecting and, and ownership and, and really enthusiast community. Uh, down to the foundation and everything that they've done to really help get uh, this club to where it's at. And I, I feel quite honored, um, extremely honored, frankly, to, to be great friends with, with this couple and, and be able to provide them with their second uh, sport evolution. Now they have a, a black and a red. Uh, this South Carolina collector, as he's dubbed, is uh, just a genuinely great human um, by all measures and, and car guy through and through. And I am certainly um, just just honored to, to call him and his wife a, a friend and uh, very excited to deliver this car to them. Uh, we've went through and uh, spent a good two months on the uh, future proofing efforts of this 2.5 liter Sport Evo, one of just 600 built uh, and uh, put it uh, into that number one condition that it should and uh, well, uh, it deserves to be in. Uh, we have behind it kind of uh, the opposite of that relative to where it started uh, condition-wise, but uh, it won't end as a number one, but it's certainly going to end uh, very close to uh, number two in a one-owner form with 100,000 miles. Uh, this has got a great story. Stay tuned for a video coming on that one. Uh, the, the condition of that car is, is certainly coming out really, really well. Uh, this is a 2002 Carbon Black M5 repeat visitor. This is an EAG upgrade opportunity. We decided to upgrade, a, a, well, a, the enthusiast owner decided to upgrade his own position and buy his miles down. And a lot of guys uh, don't think about that. Your first M car, uh, first EAG purchase doesn't need to be your last. And uh, well, uh, you know, this is more expensive than what I was hoping to be, but this one is affordable, but it's not exactly my ideal car for this or that reason, well, that's okay because, well, they're not making any more of those and, and 9,992 E39 M5s built for North America doesn't really give you a whole lot of options when they're such great driving cars as the E39 M5 platform is. Most of these have Buku miles, two, three, 400,000 miles. They'll, they'll do as many miles as a quality owner will uh, support them to do. And, and uh, they are really, a, it's a John Deere tractor of, of quality relative to change the accessories and uh, they'll keep going as long as there's a quality owner to stand behind it. Uh, my farming background coming out there uh, a bit. But uh, congratulations to uh, Justin, uh, your uh, silver M5, as you've seen in an earlier video, uh, is coming along quite nicely and uh, so adding some nice dining gear to it. Uh, you've upgraded your mileage by a good, uh, I don't know, 30%. And since you've decided that you're going to keep an E39 M5 in your stable for quite a long period of time, this certainly was a great intro car to get you into the EAG family. And, and we're certainly glad that you decided to, um, uh, well, uh, stay tuned in to the quality control that you now know and, and trust. Uh, same thing, another EAG repeat visitor. Uh, we purchased this car from an EAG repeat client that uh, did not initially acquire this 2013 M3 V8 from us. And uh, spoke with him just uh, yesterday, actually, uh, on a different uh, subject because he's ready for a different convertible of Z8 flavor. And uh, we provided this car to another enthusiast very close to our home in Indiana. If you've not seen the video with our father, uh, Mr. Ernie Keller, the original uh, BMW enthusiast relative to the Keller family, uh, he had a really uh, fun little improv video that he and I did um, as he was bringing the car down to us since it was pretty close to, to his home. And congratulations to the new enthusiast with this car. Uh, we have certainly done a nice job on it, and I'm sure you're going to be very, very happy with the results when she gets to your new stable. Uh, so 
with that, uh, fun little uh, EAG first look, extravaganza, didn't plan this, uh, don't usually, and uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we could get these videos, uh, or these cars uh, out to you uh, before they hit the market. And again, reward those that have subscribed to the channel and appreciate everybody tuning in, subscribing for more. And uh, well, uh, uh, thanks for the support along the way. We're having a great time and preserving these cars. It's, it's important work as we feel and uh, very, very blessed to do what we love every day. This is not a job, but uh, a lifestyle choice for most of our guys. And uh, we, we certainly love doing it the right way, the EAG way. So again, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. See ya.